That's actually crazy that we got something in Act 1. Think about that with this game. We got something in Act 1 randomly, just out of the blue. And then now, in Act 3, we come across this place that it's like, oh, hey, here we go. And it, like, continues a quest chain from two acts ago. Isn't that crazy? Is this your game of the year? Yeah, I think so. I think at this point, yeah. Okay, so, chat, a little bit of a recap. Shut up, idiot. So, guys, we are back with more Baldur's Gate today. We just finished the circus. So we're in act three. We just finished the circus and we are still in Rivington. We haven't actually gotten to the Baldur's Gate yet. We actually haven't gotten there yet. We are in Rivington. We did the circus and we are going to keep going to the next part of the game, which I actually don't know what it is yet. So I hope you guys enjoy. This game has been incredible. You guys have been loving the YouTube videos. So thank you guys for liking the videos, for commenting, subscribing, all that stuff. So thanks a ton. I hope you guys enjoy it. All right. I'm kind of overwhelmed right now. Like, where do I go here? This ah, a new face. Welcome Postmaster. To Coast Couriers to send and to serve. Delivery not guaranteed. Wait, delivery not guaranteed? <laughs> well, we've had to change the policy. Hard to send letters by road when there's a rampage and army of fanatics bearing down on you. I'll tell you, it's left me in a right pickle. I've sent what I can by pigeon, but now something's attacking them and all. Become a postmaster, Danzo. It'll be easy. Nobody mentions having to spend your evenings hunting for pigeon carcasses, do they? Any idea where the birds went missing? Not the foggiest. Normally they fly true as an elven arrow. Something nearby is snatching them. I can tell you that much. I'd be happy to take a look. Well, uh, if it's not too much trouble, uh, I'd be much obliged. Any letters you find, bring them back to me, unopened, of course, and there's some gold in it for you. They'll turn up in the last place you look, I'm sure. I you on Mortal Kombat this month? I, w I want to try to. <laughs> the pigeon carries itself with an air of dignity, its mannerisms stern and commanding. Stroke the pigeon's head. The pigeon avoids your outstretched hand. It glares at you. Salute the pigeon. The bird coos its approval, yet you noticed it flinched at the sight of your hand. <laughs> Shake your fist at the bird. Show your palms to the bird. The bird stares, eyes filled with fury. Perhaps your open hands are a symbol the bird has learned to hate. Potion of animal speaking. Name and rank, quickly now. There's a war on. Lieutenant Esfan reporting for duty. At ease, at ease. I am Commander Lightfeather, leader of the finest aerial communication regiment this side of the Chionza. State your purpose, ground walker. I don't have all day. <laughs> His voice is so good, dude. I hear some of your uh, officers have gone missing recently. What happened to them? Uh, Damned awful business. <coughs> Fire and fires, a lot of them. Gone without a trace. Intelligence is in short supply, but we know our enemies flanked us on the west side. Not one rooftop away. We're avoiding the whole area. I won't lose one more beak to the blighter. If you pass that way, beware the What's sign your of current the schedule plan from for that tailgate? Rooftop, Keep up the HDMI. Return. Dude, that voice actor for the pigeon is I so no good. I have no need of a wing, man. Commander Lightfeather will give you your briefing. Oh, open hand temple. That's what we need to do next. Novice Bremble. The crying one weeps today. Our father Logan is dead. Murdered. What happened? I... I don't want to talk. My heart is in mourning. Wait, so is this Bears DC situation real and developing? Dude, how crazy is it that Charles Tillman, former like Chicago Bears legend, who's now working for the FBI is the person that did the frickin' bust on this. Oh look, it's Charles Tillman. <laughs> Peanut Tillman, he's the elephant, he likes peanuts. Don't teach me how to investigate. Look, investigator. Rilgo might have been a criminal, <laughs> but he was no murderer. You're missing something. You have to be. Enough, Yanis. Listen to yourself. 
You are defending a man who ritually slaughtered your high priest. The evidence speaks for itself. Brilgore killed Father Lorcan, then, be it out of shame or profane duty, offed himself with the same blade. Case closed, Sister Yanis. Shitey little elephant. Oh, um, I apologize, stranger. Language like that hardly befits a rector of ill nature. Sound like you were having a quite the disagreement. You could certainly say that. Two people just died on temple grounds. A high priest, Father Lorcan, and one of the new refugees, Brilgore. Investigator Valeria thinks it's a murder and is content to blame Brilgore, the politically convenient target. You doubt her verdict? I will investigate, see where the true blame falls. Feel free to look around the temple. But fair warning, the investigator won't change her mind without significant new evidence. Where can I find the investigator? Charette's caress would be my best bet. That's her usual haunt after closing a case. What should I be looking for? Valeria never found the murder weapon, so that could be a start. Anything disproving the refugee murder suicide angle, really. Can you tell me where to find Shira Clarwin? I can tell you where to find her, but she won't be very chatty, I'm afraid. Shira passed away last year, peacefully, Brian. We buried her in the crypt under the temple, if you wish to visit. Best get going. I really hope you find something. For all our sakes. Gale's inspired. Dude, we're getting a lot of inspiration today. Grave robber arc. Okay, where to next? Ooh, pretty. Uh, chat. Look at this, dude. Blood. There's blood next to the hatch. Look at this. Certainly looks like a crypt. Despite everything. Sarcophagus revealed. Hello. Speak with the den. Oh, can't turn it on. Here lies Sister Shira Clarwin, date of birth unknown, died 1491 DR. Here it is, the tomb of the Amulet Spirit's granddaughter. Time for a family reunion. Dude. Dude, this is the Amulet Spirit that we got. The amulet that I got like forever ago. I got this forever ago in the forge. Honored Shira. Grimforge. Her spirit has fled, and her body but merely a husk. <laughs> Swear I did to shed this foul mania and bestow it upon Shira. She was to endure, to suffer, as was her god Ilmata's want. Who now shall bear the madness Shah has wrought on me, so I might no longer suffer? Oh, 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 oh. Shall it be thou? What? Ponder what you know of the monk's affliction. What are the consequences of accepting it? I need a 15. No! I'll use one inspiration. One inspiration. you might you can't intuit the price of bearing the monk's madness what happens if i say yes thou shalt know the extent of shah's mania tasha's hideous laughter at thy beck and call but at what cost who might say <laughs> <laughs> i feel like i'm never going to use tasha's heinous laughter or whatever take the curse i will get a free spell but at a cost if it will bring you peace, I will bear the madness. Let's just see what happens. Your muscles tingle and your mouth twitches as the laughing madness spreads through you. The madness tugs at your mind, prods in places best left untouched. You feel your wisdom begin to drain. Call on your wits and shield your mind's most vulnerable reaches. Constitution. Steal yourself and guide the sensations elsewhere. Illithid Oh, frick. <laughs> wisdom. I'm gonna go for the constitution.
Ooh, barely. You remain wise as ever, even as Shah's madness spreads outward. You giggle, <laughs> struck by the absurdity of the moment. A spirit hiding inside an amulet has brought you to the body of his granddaughter and possessed it. Outrageous. Ridiculous. Once again, you feel your wisdom draining away. Hilarious. <laughs> What is it? <laughs> Hold the firm, you will make this curse a gift. You will not surrender your wisdom. Oh, nice. Let's go. The urge to laugh dwindles. And you can't help but chuckle. You withstood the monk's madness and earned Tasha's hideous laughter. I thought it was heinous. My friend, forgive me, for this mind was not mine own. May love to be thy gift, never thy curse, the morning lord calls. Canst thou feel the warmth of his blessing? This is not my final twilight, but a new dawn. Farewell. The corpse is an empty husk once more. The monk, liberated from madness, is finally at peace. Okay. So is the amulet gone? Dude, that's, that's actually crazy that we got something in Act 1. Think about that with this game. We got something in Act 1 randomly while we were in Grimforge. Just out of the blue. And then now, like, in Act in Act 3, we, we come across this place that it's like, oh, hey, here we go. And it, like, continues a quest chain from two acts ago. Isn't that crazy? Oh, hello. Father Lorgan, chat. We need to talk to Father Lorgan. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Who killed you? Dwarf, dressed in red. Okay, well, problem solved. Where were you attacked? Tunnels from the cellar. Refuge. Tunnels from the cellar. What were you doing when you died? Hiding Brilgorn from fists. Why were you hiding Brilgor and where did you hide him? Took him to the tunnel with the rest. Oh, fool. Fool. Last one. Do I say why were you hiding Brilgor or why did he kill you? Why? Must protect innocence. Oh, he's innocent. He he's trying to protect him. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. What ails you? Marsh fever? Feather lung? Be quick, I've not got all day. I'm looking into Lorgan's death. I need to ask you some questions. What do you want to know? Who do you think killed Father Lorgan? I reckon Investigator Valeria is right. One of the refugees killed him. Cruelly, too. They cut off his hand, sawed right through the bone. I found a paralytic poison on one of his wounds. Lorgan was alive while they took the hand. He just couldn't scream. It's sick. We give them everything, and all we get is nothing but a good man to bury. Okay, so he said a dwarf dressed in red is who killed him. Tell Yanis what you found so far. Talking to the victim's corpses was clever. But I don't know if Valeria will accept that testimony. You're on the right track. Please, keep looking. Keep looking, keep looking, keep cooking. So it says we took, we took him out back. Is this, is this what it means by out back? Oh, there he is, they haven't buried him. Yo, yo. Alvin Muffle Fieldwick gave his fortune to the poor, died in the arms of friends. He will be missed. My hands on everything. Brilgore fell to anger and rage, taking Father Lorgan with him. May ill her forgive him. Uh, just doing a little bit of shoveling. Wooden casket. Brilgore, dead. Wait, what? Look. Hold on, can I... <laughs> Enough to consume. The corpse regards you <coughs> lifelessly. 
Are you Brogor? How did you die? Who killed you? Who killed you? Dwarf. Red clothes. Stranger. Okay, it's kind of a waste, but the same guy that killed Brogor killed Father Lorgan. Were you alone? Wait, why was he helping you? Fists. After me. The flaming fists need were after me, they need to hide. And where did you die? Tunnels beneath temple. Hidden from sight. Okay, uh, how do I find these tunnels? Concealed buttons. Lorgan opened for me. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Okay, dwarf in red. Okay, so I need to get to the tunnels. Is this what it meant by the ornate wooden hatch? Are these the tunnels it was talking about earlier? Heraldic sign. Oh, we found it. Okay, we found it. I pressed the button, I didn't do anything. No I was going to the side. Hmm. Who's your favorite companion? Carlock. Oh, okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. Hold on, there's people here. Shabby wooden doors, okay. Wooden trunk, gold. Oh, frick! Hello. Conning action, dash. Poor fucker. Num, 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 num. They will all attack before we get to attack. I've got it. Num, 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 num. Repost. Ooh, the big crit. Oh my gosh, dude, it's almost dead. Dude, the repost did almost one shot. Give me another repost. Easy. Dude, Carlock is a monster. Wait, what the hell? He's a doppelganger. So one to you. And then one to you. No, actually, we should wait on Gale. We wait on Gale. Don't give up. Not now. Oh my god. roll in my favor. Gale, you're blocking the Ready. path. Let's throw the weapon. See, best way. Uh. Okay, well, that was easy. I am throw again. What the heck? Wait, the throw build is OP. Okay, so then now what Gale can do, Gale goes and he does a magic missile level 100% chance. It does two to five damage, but he has that ability. I think I can just one, two, and it's gonna kill him both. Eight. Easy, seven, seven. So the two to five did eight. The reason why he has um, Cole the Weak. When you bring a creature down to fewer hit points than your number of evolved illithid powers, it dies and all nearby creatures take one of our psychic damage. Wait, hold on, that's not right. I did eight damage even though it was two to five. Doesn't he have something here that increases it? Yeah, I don't know, but he did a lot of damage with a level one. Like a level one magic missile is hitting for eight, seven, seven. Like, that's supposed to hit for 6 to 15 damage, and it did 20, 22. Flowery key. Solve the open hand temple murders. Let's see if Zom will talk to us. Did you kill Father Lorgan? No. Dolor did. Dolor killed him. Splendid. Kill. Who is Dolor? Our blood red dwarf. Tricky. Hungry. Is, uh, where is Dolor now? The corpse remains silent. It does not know. That's not the key, yeah. Flophouse. Dolor's secrets. <laughs> cool. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Clown's severed torso. This chunk of course is still garbled in clothes. Clown's torso. Gods, it's awful. Journal updated, find Dribbles the clown. Wait, that's Dribbles. 
Okay, so what we need to do, we've gotten all this part ready. Let's go out of the mouth of the cave. I didn't finish solving the open hand temple murder. A lot of act three quests take a while, okay. I'm trying to find the bell tower. Oh, hello, it's a cat. Mr. Dakarios, heavens, fancy seeing you here. Who is Mr. Dakarios? That can't be you, can it? Wait, I what? suppose you won't be terribly shocked to find your old friend Tara amongst the pigeons. They've always been a personal favorite. My, is that a ring? For us? Oh, you shouldn't have. Enjoy yourself now, Tara. Looks like you've got yourself set up quite nicely here. Gail, she's been missing those, she's been eating those missing courier pigeons. You gotta tell her to stop. Oh, right, did you hear that, Tara? Um. Stop it. Well, these must be important birds indeed, Mr. Dakarios. Forgive me for feasting on their bodies and bones so very voraciously. Oh, she's agreed. Just Gail's looking rough. He should have been taking his AG1. Received item, ring of blink. Bundle of letters. Am I crazy? I don't remember that cat. Tara remains as willful as ever. I'm glad you finally made her acquaintance. Oh. Given the length of my time away, I feared she might have given up on me. I can see why you love her. She's quite the That's character. Tara. Loyal, intelligent, brave, and apparently unwilling to follow even the most basic of instructions when her own safety is at stake. I'd actually been thinking about introducing the two of you anyway. Over a sumptuous home-cooked meal, if that sounds at all to your taste. My tower in Waterdeep boasts an excellent kitchen and a wine cellar to rival Ondor himself. Not to mention a larder stocked with my homemade Hundor sauce. Invite me to your house for the first time? You must really like me. More than you could possibly believe. Now that we've got something to look forward to, I think it's time we went and saved the world. Don't you? Leave. Okay, we got the letters. Let's take the letters to Danzo Arkwright. The special and direct attention of Roa Moonglow only. You want to consummate professionals? I don't understand why the Joaquin's rest. Just put out some feelers. Minus one, no reading. My bad, my bad, my bad. I suppose you've uh, stumbled across those letters yet? Uh, I found the letter intended for the Xenthorim. It made for a very interesting read. You... you read it? Technically, that's interfering with someone else's property. I should report you to the nearest manip. Tell you what, give it here and we'll say no more about it. I'll give you a nice little bonus as well, a, a finder's fee. What do you say? He seems really... It would be a shame if anyone told the Xenthorum you lost this. A real shame. Should I do this? Should I say that? That's mean. Whatever. Nice. Fine. Just give me the letter. Forget you saw anything. This never happened. I wanted more. Not gold, but I wanted more like, like I needed, I needed more out of that one. You know what I'm saying? Not gold, but like some kind of like, like story, you know? of Lord Gortash. Refugees are no longer allowed in the city. Turn around. I'm not a refugee. Well, do you have the means to support yourself? 200 gold? What? I don't need any money to support myself. I live what I find in nature. Then you live don't off. need to be in the city. Next! You need to stay Great headline. Great headline. Lens the journalist. Aren't you... I knew there was a story here, and there you are, the hero of the hour, walking right up to me. The name's Lens, reporter with the Boulder's Mouth Gazette. Care to do a quick interview? Hold on, what do you want with me? I'm here looking for my next angle. It's all the same, oppression, famine, death. I need something new, someone like you. It won't take more than two moments of your time. If you play your cards right, this could make the cover. I just need some extra details. So, the you've cover? arrived at Baldur's Gate. What's brought you here at a time like this? 
You know, taking a holiday, visiting family, normal reasons. Everybody needs a rest from time to time. Even seasoned adventurers like yourself. I imagine you've a need to let off some steam after your recent adventures in the shadow-cursed lands. My sources tell me you recently vanquished the fearsome General Ketherick Thorn. How did you manage that? I offered him a chance at redemption, and when he refused to take it, he left me no choice. So you were forced to kill him? I was. What a tragic story. I was. Unfortunately, absolutists rarely seem interested in compromise. They do. The cult's threat is far from extinguished. What's your plan of attack? Oh, uh, I'm not much of a planner, I'm afraid. I'm more of a, uh, improviser. You think chaos courses through your veins? You have no idea. Wait, what? Still rolling in the muck, I see. You think I can't sniff the secrets hidden in your pretty skull? What you seek, what you need. Gortash knows you are coming, knows you have the Bone Lord Stone. Do not let him hiss hot air into your worm-weakened brain. Remember, his throat spits lies, but my blade carves the truth. You will what? it on your skin soon enough. Wait. With me. My son. What does she want? He's only a boy. Am I still gonna be on the cover? I don't understand. <laughs> Am I on the cover or not? 